Katya, we're here for the first episode of our mini video series, The Two Minute Product Owner. And um, I think a good starting point for this is to talk about what a product owner actually is or does. And um, if I remember back to, to my scrum training, there was one line that, that, that stuck in my head, which is that the product owner is the one throat to choke for a product or a project. And um, I have now had this role for a couple of years. You have a lot of experience in this role and I've, I've never been choked. So the question is, how would you actually define that product owner role? I fully agree. Being a product owner is not about choking. It's about making sure that the team builds the right thing as quickly as possible. As a product owner, I need to talk to customers and stakeholders. I need to understand what they really need, how the existing product fits or their expectations and where it is falling short. And every customer conversation leads to a new backlog item that is added to the backlog and finally explained to the team. So whenever I create a backlog item, it's super important for me that the team understands the value, that they understand why they have to implement something for a customer. But you're the product owner, so the, the, the team does what you want it to do. So isn't it just sufficient if you walk in there and say like, I want this? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> No, it's easy. If you, as a product owner, explain to the team why a customer needs something, why this has a value for the customer, why they are implementing a certain feature, and how this fits into the rest of the product, they are way more motivated to deliver something as quickly as possible. So that sounds a lot like being a product owner is understanding the customer and explaining to the, to the team why they're building something in service of the customer. Yes, that's pretty accurate. The most powerful tool I have is the trustful relationship to my customers because that gives me the insights I need to understand what is really needed. And at the end, we have happy life customers. Well, that sounds easy enough with you talking with all your experience in this role, but how would somebody who is just new to this role even know where to get started in accomplishing this? Great point. That is exactly what we will cover in the next episodes.